Hey there, it's Steve. And Terry. From Serious Keto, and what do we have today? Today we have the June uh, My Keto Surprise Box. Yes, from Keto Chow. Now we do the surprise box because... We like surprises. It's kind of fun. It gives us something to do on this yeah. video. But you don't have to. If you don't like surprises, they've got a number of different options out on Keto Chow where you can customize it and make it My Chow. Well, actually, your chow, but it's called My Chow right. is the name. So if you want 20 meals per month or 30 or 60 or 90, you set the flavors, you set the quantities, everything. But we have the surprise box and we're going to open it right now. You ready? Yeah. Okay. I, I took the liberty of oh. cutting it open for you. Letter on top. First thing, we've got the, the little letter. Uh, it says, don't share until the first, which we're not doing. Well, we're not sharing it until the first. Same. Oh. You have all the confetti. Yeah. Chocolate peanut butter. Which is one of my probably two favorite flavors. Salty caramel. Okay. Root beer float, good for summer. Outstanding. Strawberry, good for strawberry patches. I just Stop. made some strawberry keto chow ice cream. It'll be ready oh. tonight. Okay. So, cool. Pretty soon, strawberries out there, right? Yep. It's chocolate. Mm-hmm. S'mores, that's good for summer. Mocha. Orange mango, oh, is that new? No, they've had that for oh. a while. That's, okay. that's a good flavor. Oh, yeah, we got a mango ready to go. We could use with some. Well, not me. Oh. I can't have the mango. Oh, okay. I can have I can have the keto chow version, but right. not the real I one. Can. And then our big twenty-one serving Ooh, bag snickerdoodle. snickerdoodle. Good stuff. Pretty good flavor. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually good. hoping that one of these next months they do not a big bag. Just give us a big assortment of small bags. Yeah. But my guess is that as we go through the recipe cards, there's probably going to be something that uses snickerdoodle. Mm -hmm. Now we are actually going to make one of these as part of this video because historically what we've done is we've shown the recipe cards but we wind up filming like the we... day before release right we actually are filming two days before release here so we have a chance to try out one of the recipes mixed berry milkshake mm. yeah. that's that not really like cooking is it chocolate peanut butter bites Ooh. desserts yeah that's we'll put that in the maybe pile baked s'mores yeah, that's probably easy We'll put that in the possible pile. Sesame tea cakes. Hmm. Sounds different, but it's not something I like, but it was, sounds pretty unique. What do we something have there? It's using, it's using the Snickerdoodle Keto Chow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, mini mocha mousse you're, cups. You're, you're yawning on our, on our video. I'm sorry. Mini mousse, mousse cups. Mini, mini mocha mousse cups. Mini mocha mousse cups. That's a tongue twister. I'm thinking I probably, one of us should have brought our glasses to see how long it takes to make these. Yeah, here's some glasses. The peanut butter bites, it looks like these are a no cook sort of thing that, uh, that we then put in the fridge or freezer. This could be fun. What do you think? Should we do okay. the chocolate peanut butter bites? Sure. All right, we're gonna make those and then we'll be back for a taste test. Okay, well, alternate here. Uh, that way you can see both of us. We'll take turns as camera person. First step, line a baking sheet with parchment paper, which I did over there. Step number two, in a large bowl. I hope this bowl is large enough. It says mix the peanut butter and coconut oil. We've got one half cup of each. Probably should have softened the coconut oil a little bit more. It's a little chunky, but who cares? So our next step, we're gonna add the keto chow. Go ahead. And one quarter cup of brown erythritol. We're using Swerve. Nope, that's the flax. Yep, that's the stuff right there. A spoon better, or this works this I don't know. You tell me. Uh, can I have a spatula? Yes, you can. It does not work. Yeah, it didn't say in the instructions what we're supposed to use to mix, like a hand mixer or a whisk or just said mix together. I don't know. Do you want, do you want to use the hand mixer? No. Okay. This is fine. All right. Next, we're going to add the coconut and the ground flax meal or flaxseed. seed. 
And finally, one quarter cup of sugar-free chocolate chips. I'm using Lily's. And then this is supposed to go into the fridge for 30 minutes until it gets firm enough to scoop and hold its shape. All right, we have our scooper. And yeah, it's firm enough. And we'll just get these into ball shape. All right, it said in the recipe that we were gonna get 22. I got 16. But these are gonna go off in the freezer now for 10 minutes, and then Terry and I will do our taste test. All right, you wanna pull those over here? All right. Chocolate. So here they are. Um, Little donut holes. Oh, what do you think? Do they, look, do they look like the picture? Yeah, they do. Fairly much. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Ping. So the um, the chocolate chips in there are a little bit crunchy. Yeah. You good. know, once once they freeze, what I think might be even better. My mom used to make these peanut butter balls that were chocolate covered. Mm -hmm. I think if we melted some chocolate and covered these instead of putting the chocolate chips in, oh, yeah. that would be really, really awesome. Yeah, with hard, on the hard, frozen but chocolate. This is, uh, yeah, this is some pretty tasty stuff right here for a <laughs> yeah. pretty easy little fat bomb recipe. Mm -hmm. As always, I will include a link to Keto Chow down in the description below. Additionally, any of the little cooking gadgets that I use, like the variable measuring cup and the scooper, I think those are the two main things, right? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll include links to those as well, in case you want to get one of those or both of those. But I think that's going to be it for this month. I do know that in the coming months, there's going to be a very special surprise. Because oh. <laughs> I got, well, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Chris Bear from Keto Chow emailed me last week and said that the flavor that I designed has now gone into production. Oh, yay. <laughs> so I don't know if it'll be ready by next month, but uh, I, would, I would hope that within the next two months, it'll be available. Great. So that will be super duper exciting. And I'll probably have to do some sort of a giveaway at that time to yeah. celebrate my first <laughs> flavor of Keto Chow. Yeah, that'll be yummy. So, well, I mean, you know it's going to be yummy because you've already, t you were one of my taste testers. Yeah. All right. So what do we say? See you next time. Thanks for watching.